Shalom, shalom to the remnant, to the elect, to the chosen, those that have set a mark on them that sigh and cry at the altar. And that means those that remain in confession and a repentant spirit. I'm not going to be long, Israel. I'm not going to be long. But we will address again, since I have the permission of this person to soundbite her again, even though that's not what we did the first time. We didn't soundbite anything. What we did was sounded everything she said. So we didn't misrepresent her words. We asked you to judge the spirit. I said again from the beginning 
that I am a prophet sent to the house of Israel. And I am sent here to blow a trumpet because trouble is coming. And that Yah sent me directly to the leadership in Israel to judge them for one, the lies that they are teaching to the people about Torah, the sin that they're committing in hypocrisy while they're teaching lies about Torah, the false prophecies that they are spinning, their own inspirations that they are uh, selling to the people in order for them not to see the direction and the prophetical vision that Yah says, whoever walks by this light shall be saved. Prophecy for those that are selling everything, every knowledge, every philosophy, every guru type speech, every new age science of this world, while they're sick themselves, calling everyone else sick and trying to be the mad scientist to heal the nation and saying that is Torah and nullifying the words of Yahushua, nullifying what the prophets have said, nullifying what the writings and the prophecies have written about our sickness and mental illness and giving you another pill, y'all, a false healing. Many, 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 many of you don't like the three hour video that I did, not what Malka did. I want y'all to know, Israel, that this is not personal. She would like to make this seem personal because Malka being a witness, a personal witness, as well as other two, two people that were there, but Malka being the victim, right? A victim in the past of her mental illness and the very pill that she wants to send you. Look at the title, Seriously, Mental Health Matters. She did a part two just now, Israel. She gave me permission to sound bite, but I don't have to sound bite if you try the spirit by the spirit. Please, Israel, because this Shabbat, I'm going to address all the lies, the philosophy that she is selling you for a false healing. I'm going to show you what exactly what she's doing in the scripture. She has no scripture to back up her so-called judgment against what we're doing. I'm going to show you that everything we did was Torah and commanded of us to do for the healing of the people. This video was not about Huldah. It was about revealing false shepherds in your midst that Yah says, call them out because they are leading my sheep astray and trouble is coming. And where are they gonna lead you? Yah said at the end of this destruction, there will be one left on a hill with a flag. I know what's coming, Israel. You don't know what's coming. They don't know what's coming because they're just living in the luxury of your wealth. And they and, and this is blinding them from the word of Yah. Now, I would love for every single one of you, please go watch what she just posted. This 15 minutes of her mental health granting. This is what she wants to sell you. And the next video that she put up, but this one in particular, please listen to it all. So you don't think that I'm just sound biting her when I go into the word and show you that every single thing that this woman is speaking, every single thing that this demon is speaking is against Torah. She's teaching another doctrine. She's teaching another medicine. She's teaching Satan's knowledge. Okay, Israel, please try the spirit. Hear it and judge it by the word. Now, I know that a lot of you got a false word. You read, you don't read very well. You read half words. You, you re-quote scriptures wrong, but we're going to deal with that on Shabbat. I know that she wants to tell you that to make this personal again with Malka, this was not about a personal gripe with Malka, y'all. She's just a witness to what I'm saying. 
No, nobody sat up here and just tell Baird about her marriage, y'all. She got on YouTube and did that herself. But she played with y'all. Y'all don't know that she put videos up, pull them down, put them up. You don't know that she went around Israel. She went around this whole world, y'all, speaking about her plan with her husband. We're not talking about something two years ago and in the past. Her plan just came to fruition, right? But we don't have a right to question her marriage in Torah when Yah tells us about this stuff in Torah, when she was preaching about marriages for the last two years in Torah. Are you insane, Israel? Now you want to let this retard of a mental illness tell you that everybody else is sick? Everybody else is sick. All of us is sick because we're in pain about what happened to us in Babylon. And she wants to quote Deuteronomy 28 and make her own, what do you call it? Vaccination for you, prescription for you. As if once again, she's the doctor. And someone asks us in there, why would we use mental health when we have talk? And her answer was, Israel, please listen to this. Well, y'all gave us mental health. <laughs> y'all, y'all, I know, I, I'm laughing, my wicked laugh, right? Y'all think a prophet wouldn't mock? Y'all think a prophet wouldn't laugh? You think a prophet wouldn't air out somebody's dirty laundry and uh, uplift the uh, rugs and blow up the smoke? You think that a prophet wouldn't divide Israel? You think a prophet wouldn't cause divisions amongst the house of Israel? You think a prophet what? Let's see. Wouldn't do a video expose, exposing the shepherds of Israel? What have you been reading, Israel? What have you been reading? Listen to this woman's word against her own word and go back and read Torah. The girl is snapping. She doesn't take her own advice. I know if she was going to a mental health therapist, I know they told her to stay off of YouTube. But then she was like, but that's my money. How am I going to survive? And then the mental therapist said, well, okay, well, if you have to stay on Patreon <laughs> where you can control your speech. But please do not speak impulsively. Please get off the YouTube. You're sick. Now, y'all, anyone that knows me knows that this is not personal either. What? She got like, what, one three-hour video of me and she might get another one and she got another one like two, two and a half years ago. Y'all, y'all see my video. I'll go, I'll do four, five, six, seven. I'll do 10, 20 hours on someone teaching the false doctrine. I just did a whole month on Malachi in honor of humility. What are y'all talking about? She's so high-minded that she think this is, I guess you think this song is about you. When I've declared what this is about, I declare from the very beginning before I knew this whole, that I'm here to expose the false shepherds that's leading you wrong. And everyone that spoke against the message that y'all sent me to blow the trumpet to warn you what to do according to what the tribulation is happening right now. She has no answers for you, y'all. Mental health, y'all, that's exactly what she tried to do to Malcolm. That's exactly what she didn't want to apologize for. And she did not apologize to my. I saw that little lane of a response that she gave to uh, Malcolm after the fact that I had to get up there with Malcolm and judge the situation and call her out. I saw the uh, reject of a letter, no apology at all, if I have. Acting like she don't know what she did. There was no apology, y'all. But once again, we're not looking for an apology. Mouth is not looking for an apology, but what she's not going to do is lie. Let her read the letter. Read the letter. Read that lame of an apology that you gave to her. That wasn't no apology at all. No repentance about what you did. Israel, open your eyes. This, this is what this girl is selling, mental health. But you're going to keep tell she's going to keep telling people stop taking you down a trauma lane, but you got to revisit your trauma lane. Yes, we do. She's going to read Deuteronomy 28 and tell you what? Go to a mental health to fix Deuteronomy 28? Is that what the words say? Y'all, this girl is snapping right in front of your face. You can't see the demon coming out of her. 
It doesn't matter. She seems like she got it all collected when she comes in front of you, but anyone that knows can see when someone don't have herself together. And nothing about this video is remorseful about anything. She's not confessing anything, though. She's not apologizing for anything. What she's doing is falsifying the facts. As if people put her business out there all on the YouTube concerning her marriage. No, Israel, she did. Not just on the YouTube. This girl traveled across the country. There is reports coming out of every country, every state that she visited. Visited from da Dallas to Atlanta to Arizona to New York, all the way to Israel about her evil speech and her plans for her marriage. Nobody, there's no slander here if she's the one who spread it, Israel. Are you out of your mind? Are you out of your mind? Now, we're going to get the word on all of that. You think me evil? Let's see what the word says. You think somebody wouldn't mock the wicked? You think somebody would not laugh at the wicked? You think that y'all's prophets don't look arrogant against the arrogant? You think they don't look proud against the proud? Read your word. Y'all tune in this Shabbat because we're going to teach some Torah on the matter. And we're going to find out what's the problem with Israel's mental illness. They refuse to confess and repent. Oh, how do I know who does not repent it? Well, if she was repenting from her fornication that her husband, what, forgave her for and didn't kill her and divorce her over, then how does she get a right to divorce him now? She's unrepentant. She don't have a right to divorce him in Torah. She don't have a right. And we do have a right to know as she has been your leader for the past seven years, selling you a bill of goods and false healing. We have a right to know. Y'all said, test them that come before you. Yes, we have all sinned. We have all been mad, blind, trauma, all of that. That's right. We absolutely have. And I'm not going in this girl's way, way, way wicked past. Right? I'm not going that far. I'm only going as far as she got on this YouTube and said, y'all called her as she's saying again and anointed her to do something. Well, what is she, y'all? Is she a prophet? Is she a moron? she a teacher? Is she evangelist? Is she a healer? Is she a, a shaliach? Right? Is she a messenger? What is she, y'all? Is she a priest? Who are you? Who are you but a all you did was show up and teach Israel wickedness. You went into people's marriages and taught them fornication. She wants to call me a Jezebel, y'all. But y'all talked about the Jezebel in the last day. Get that Jezebel who's teaching people to do what? Fornicate. That's what, and, and y'all gave her what? Space, time to repent. Well, how much time can I bring up the fact that I gave this witch time to repent of teaching fornication? How much time, Israel? Y'all better learn your word. Now, if you want to come at me with the judgments of the world, go for it. But if you want to speak Torah and the Bible and Messiah, then you better come straight with the word yourself and know what you're saying before you judge a prophet. All right, Israel, stay tuned. I got permission to sound bite now. I'm not gonna play all 15 minutes of her. I'm just a foolishness. Everything she's saying is foolish, but I summon you to watch it. That's right, I ain't scared to mention her name. She still don't wanna mention my name, right? To give what? A false report about me, that I'm just spending my time and it's all personal against her. When you go to my page, you'll see I'm judging all the leadership in Israel. All the leadership. All right, every false doctrine, because the falling away is here. The falling away is here, and the falling away is those that pick up the book and proclaim to be teachers of Torah, the way, the truth, and the light in Yahushua, that spoke his name, but not in truth. Now they're going to revert, revert their doctrines on you in the middle of it and lead you away from the straight and narrow. Once again, Israel, I said this ain't about no Buddha. 
I don't care about this little whore. I know where she's going. I know she's not going to repent, but I guess love would not be, right, for me to come out and call her sin. Oh, Jonah. Well, what did love look like when Jonah was sent? And what, what did no love look like for Jonah? When you hate somebody as a prophet, the last thing you want to do is judge them. You be like, yeah, I know where they go. Why well, I got to say something? I know they're not going to repent. Why well, I got to say something? Y'all said, go tell them. That ain't your judgment call. That's love, y'all, from a prophet. Learn your word. Learn your word. Jonah didn't want to go and speak to Nineveh. He didn't want to go because he hated them. He wanted them to rot in hell in their sins. But y'all said, no, you're not going to turn around. Go and tell them they sins. Perhaps they will repent. How many times do I got to tell them? How long do I got to tell them? Well, Noah spoke 120 years asking them to repent. Y'all don't know your Bible? Now she want to talk to you about mental health in the wilderness. <laughs> oh, that's my wicked, evil laugh again. Okay, we're going to get some word on that. We're going to see what Yaha Yah send in the prophets today. Y'all better learn y'all word because you're going to judge the prophets and you're going to stone them and you're going to think that you're doing y'all favor. Now, try every spirit by the spirit. What spirit would that be? Every spirit got to be tried by the word of Yah. I said it, Israel. Wait for it. It's coming. Hulu, you know my name. And for anyone that want to think that I didn't come to Hulu, not about her broken marriage, not about her adultery. I came to her to teach her the right word. And in that, hopefully she wanted to hear the right word. Her and her husband, I could have brought up their mental health issue and counseled them. Where they going wrong? Why they crazy? Why they fighting? Because they fighting over false doctrine and money. What's the, what's the solution to that, Israel? What mental health got a solution for that? What, what would the mental health say about a marriage that's fighting over inheritance and money? Well, I don't know what they would say, but I know what y'all would say. I know what y'all would say, so we're going to get to that. Thou shalt not covet. What do I have to do with that? Give it up. Well, she played her cards work right in this world. Y'all, she talking about this not a game, but every time she's talking, she's talking about how she's worming through a game. She played her cards right. This is a chess game, and it's a game on y'all because she's not talking straight. All right, I could talk all day about this seriously mental health matters. <laughs> right? We went from Black Lives Matter to seriously mental health matters. Seriously? Yeah, it matters. The, the reason why y'all not healed is because you still refuse to hear what y'all say caused the mental Who caused the mental health, Israel? Who caused it? You see, she ain't got no, she, she blaming everybody else while she's mental. She's blaming everybody else for her pain. And that's not how you confess. That's not how you cry before the altar. That's not how you do it, y'all. All right. I can speak all day, but y'all wait for it. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Wait for it. I'll see y'all after the Shabbat. I don't do live because I'm not emotionally impulsive. I watch my words. I consider my words. Yeah, they may be funny at times. They raw. I'm in. Y'all gave me a little sense of humor. Hallelujah. I ain't crazy. <laughs> All right, those of you that don't like my laugh, I can play a pipe, you still won't listen. I can cry, you still won't listen. I can play a nice tune, you still ain't gonna listen. What difference does it make how I deliver the message? It's just because it's the truth, y'all don't wanna hear it. Because every one of y'all that sat up there and wrote judgments against the judgment, knowing that this was, this is wicked, y'all gonna get y'all judgment too. Right. And so I want y'all to know that what Malcolm did, I did not ask her to do it. She did it of her own accord. She going to dress it this Sunday. Right now, this is going to be a Malcolm and Talia video. Right. Like I said, Malcolm was just one witness there. Right. She had the most witness to say in that setting. But this wasn't about Malcolm <laughs> against her. Right. Um, 
Y'all, y'all noticed that she left the comments. So now why would Malka do that? Hmm. She did it on purpose, y'all. She did it on purpose because she wanted to see the tone of and the condition of the folly of the people in Israel. Why? Because she can recognize it because she was there herself. That's right. She can judge. Once you remove the beam out of your eye, then you can see clearly to judge your brother. She left the comments on by purpose. She wanted to see the foolishness of people. And uh, we're going to address a lot of those comments. And some of y'all better repent. Some of y'all better repent because you're going to be down with her judgment as you follow her. And any of you that say, I don't follow her, but I don't like what I'm seeing here. Learn your word. We're going to speak on that. All right. Once again, I could speak all day about it, but I know when to shut up and wait for the proper day. You said it wasn't edifying. I beg to differ, but we're going to get some tour. We're going to edify y'all this season. This is the season of the blowing of the trumpets. I ask you again, Israel, what's the trumpet? The voice of y'all, right? What's the trumpet? The falling away is here, Israel. See love.